trip to Gitwe Girls was quite the scene. I mean, look at the scenery. Look at how amazing that tea mountain <laughs> looks like. I think this is one of the most beautiful places I have ever been. True story. Now, we're heading to Gitwe Girls High School. Myself, as Molly Rachel, and my team, MRX and Limited, so that we could give a talk to the girls during the time of day. And to Africa Visuri by the Kitwe Girls in Kiambu. And that's me being introduced on stage. What's up, Kitwe Girls? What's up? What's up? Let me introduce myself. Naito Mwalimu Rachel. Hilo jina Mwalimu Rachel. Nilipata because of my radio show. Kabla sijaenda Energy Radio. Nilikuwa station ingine abayi luke neto Homeboys Radio. Na hiyo tani kwa Homeboys Radio. Nilikuwa natuwa show na the Delphi Center. Alikuwa nituwa Koi. Hiyo show ilikuwa na run from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Nilipuambiwa sasa wendo presenter nika nikuwa mekwa promotion. Na cheki. Nikambiwa, you know what? Now you're getting into the afternoon slot. Because before then I was having a very, very late night show. Imagine, from midnight mpaka 3 a.m. So nikapewa hii daytime slot ya radio. And when I was sitting down and thinking about what do I want my show to sound like? What is the unique thing or factor about this show? I remembered my days in high school. And I know right now as you're sitting down, you're thinking to yourself, what is so nice about high school that you wanted to bring on radio? I wanted to bring the fun side of high school. At a time like this, see you know if you fun? Hakuna classes, see you? Hakuna my assignments. Chakula mekula special diet. Special diet, yeah, no, it was sour. All right, so the talent that we're also seeing here that was fun, that was fun, even for me in high school. So, Nika Sema is shown in the Peter class one, two, four. Class for Sababu Nkona Saka need to me my imagination that I am the teacher this time around, the fun teacher, and the listener is the student. Sasa wali ambuwa likuwa na nsikiliza ndo wakasema, you know what, tunakupatia a new name. Because before I used to go by the name Rachel. But then they said, no, something is missing. Na vilo mekuja hapa ukituambia methali za kiswa hili, unojua ni mezaliwa kule mumasani. Kwa hivo, eh, kuna watu wa mabasa hapa? Yeah! Ah, mamage! Asala? Eh? Asala waleko? Sana. Sasa mimi kwa sababu napenda sana lugha ya Kiswahili. How many of us love Kiswahili? How many of us pass really really well in our Kiswahili? Mimi nilikuwa kila wakati kwa maisha kwa nini top top top. Sasa nikasema I'm going to have fun with this language called Kiswahili. Nikawa sasa pale nafanya kamilisha methali, napatiana vitenda wili na ambia watu watuambie, watege na vitu kama vili. Kwa hivyo sasa wasikilizaji wakanipatia mimi hilo jina Mwalimu. Sasa kutoka hiyo siku ikawa ndio brand name yangu Mwalimu Rachel. Over and beyond that over the years nimependa sana kuuika na young people. And because I've been working with them on the airwaves kwenye radio on the ground tukipatana na wao because wao pia tunafanya events. Nikawa sasa naona nafaa nianzishe kampuni Ambayo ita empower the young people. And that's where my company comes in, MRX Media Limited. And what we do as MRX, we empower young people through mentorship, through financial literacy, because tunamini sana ya kwamba kujitafuktia hizo hena ni muhimu. Sindiyo? Financial literacy also enables us to understand money and how money works. Nisei, unapewa pesa na mzazi labda. Nakini badai, unafawa wanza kufikira mamba ya kusave, mamba ya kuinvest. Because that's how you get to become a, you know, an adult, a full individual. And also, we are...
very, very passionate about talent development, which is also one of the reasons why we are here with you today with my team as MRX Media. You know that? My talent, when I was in high school, pale kwa drama festivals, music festivals, hunge nikosa. What your drama fest uko? Music festivals? What was science congress? <laughs> nice one. That helped me to become very confident on stage. Jomana leza simama mbele enu na nisi ogope. Na kwa sababu hiyo talanta yangu, nikaanza hata ku MC later on in life. And of course even getting into radio and into TV and all that. Kwa hivyo usidharau au usione hii talanta ambayo uko nayo hapa itaishia hapa. And my hope and prayer is that you take it with you, you nurture it, you grow it. You, even when you go to campus, tutakapobarikiwa kwenda campus, make sure you enter a drama club or something else, journalism club, something that is going to continue on building on your talent, all right? And the tutu, sasa. <laughs> oh, so sweet. <laughs> all right? Now, allow me to take a moment and speak to you real quick just before I exit the stage. You know, was Chanang. When you're in here, you're protected, right? Teachers are looking over you. Tunajua mali tunaweza kukupata. Wana kuongelesha na kukumbusha umuhimu wa you know maintaining your dignity as a young lady. Out there in the world. As from force to go up. Oh, hi from force. How we doing girls? We good? Fantastic. Now I know everybody goes home over the holidays, but you know, you are going to now finish school all together. You can't wait, Sibyl. <laughs> I've been there. I can relate. And it's fun to say goodbye and everything. But you know, out there, there are other things that are also waiting for you. Boys, for instance. Right? Right? Yes? Men are waiting for us outside those gates. Am I lying? Is that true, Senor? I want to take the time to remind us of the importance of staying away from people who want to destroy your future. From people who are thinking about themselves and their needs and their urges at that time. Do you know right now in Kenya, and this is for everyone, not just for the four fours, we are ranked when it comes to teen pregnancies. Globally, we are number three, guys. We are number three, a percentage of 26.7% of teenage pregnancies. So you can imagine of the population of, uh, you know, girls age between uh, 15 and 19 years. You can imagine how many of us shule na katishwa wasababu ya mimba. You can imagine how your dreams are cut short or delayed. Because sometimes, yes, people will tell you, I was able to get back and do what I wanted to do. How you doing? I love you. <laughs> yeah? So there are some people who tell you, okay, fine, you can get pregnant, but then your life will continue after a while. But you have delayed ile raha ya ujana unajua ujana una raha wewe wacha nikwambie hutaki kila wakati nge 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 unaliliwa liliwa pale i'm a mother i should know yes i have a 10 year old yes i have a 10 year old son lakini mimi nilijiweka vizuri nikawa na focus kwanza kutafuta pesa kwanza tafuta nini tafuta pesa tafuta pesa ujiweke vizuri Uvai vile una feel, vile una like, sindiyo? Una ngara, unaenda shule, una soma, unapata kazi. Raha ya kupata funguo yako ya nyumba yako, hata kama ukianza maisha itakwane SQ ni yako. Kujitaftia na kula jasho lako, sindiyo? Bala kudipend na wanaume kukupatia pesa, 
ama hawa mashuga daddy tumeambiwa hapa ukiwaona wambe you are diabetic you don't do sugar daddies right that's what's up protect your future protect your youth this energy is amazing it's infectious many people will be drawn to you just because of who you are and how young you are we don't want a situation whereby you discontinue with your dreams and uh, studies because of teenage pregnancies and it's real it's very very real girls i'm going to say my ladies ladies yes ladies okay there is a pledge that i normally whenever i have uh, these sessions with uh, high schoolers nimeweza kwenda shule kama area girls ngara girls leoniko gitwe girls man and the pledge goes something like this and i want us to say this pledge together that i will not dim my shine for anyone I am, I am enough. I am powerful. I am important. You are so important in this world. And every time you don't believe in yourself, ukiwa na wakati wowote ambapo hata nataka nishuke hapo chini sasa. Ikiwa wakati wowote mtu anakuambia wewe hauwezi, you don't have what it takes to be the next big amazing radio presenter. I want you to remind yourself of this pledge, okay? Great. And if you are listening to Energy Radio Tanipata from 3 to 7 p.m. to kwa na jamaa anaitwa DJ Exclusive. Bazu big man bazu mwenyewe. So, I want you to have your hand across your chest. This is a promise you're making to yourself. This is a promise that you'll remember even after you leave high school. It's not just for when we're here, okay? Because this is what you remember. Mwanzo from force we talk. I will not dim my shine for anyone. I am enough. I am enough. I am powerful. I am